Hello and welcome to Vidush Academy. Today I will show you another episode of live coding and this time it would be about VBA debugging. So let's start. So this is how our VBA code looks like actually and in order to make it a bit fancier like we need for the debugging purposes the properties windows which is uh, available under the shortcut F4. So we press F4 and this is how it comes. Proper this window. My editor is in German, unfortunately, but I really hope that you would try to realize what's happening. So another thing for debugging is uh, the immediate window, Control plus G. And this is our immediate window here. Third thing that we need for the debugging is probably the project window. So Control plus R is its shortcut. So this is roughly speaking how everything looks like with shortcuts. So what our code does, it's a Fibonacci example. So pretty much we have two variables A and B. In our case A is 6 and B is the result from the Fibonacci function. And if we decide to run it, pretty much how do we run it, we'll see what's happening. Uh, we can go here and we can say debug and now we have the debug menu so if we put our cursor here and we press the green thing we will see that we get 8 and 144 in the immediate window which is the Fibonacci for 6 is 8 and the Fibonacci for uh, 6 plus 6 for 12 is 144 obviously this is how it works of course as you can see here we can use F5 with having our function here and it will work. Another way to call this function, test me, is if we write it in the immediate window and we call it like this. The same works for the Fibonacci function. Fibonacci and then we simply say 20 and the result for the Fibonacci 20 is 6700. 65. Fibonacci 20 is the 20th number of the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is this 1 plus 1 equals 2, then 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the fifth number of the Fibonacci is 5 and then it really increases like 8, then 8 plus 5, so pretty much you, you get the idea. So F5, as I said, is the thing that can run from the test me. Another way if we want to understand how our code works, what I usually do if I have the time is going step by step by pressing F8 with let's say the test me, so coming here and we see the yellow I think it means that we are currently on this line. So the next time we press F8 it jumps over the A and B and if we only put our uh, cursor over A and B, we see the values. So you see A equals 0 because this is the default value for long and if I press now F8 once again it is changed because here is how we assign it, okay? And with F8 more and more we enter the Fibonacci function for our first time. We entered some kind of a loop. This is not Fibonacci with recursion. This is Fibonacci with a loop quite faster than Fibonacci with recursion for obvious reasons because we're not doing a recursion and then we continue debug print b is going to say 8 so the sixth number of Fibonacci is 8 if we remember the fifth was 5 the previous one was 3 so 5 plus 3 equals 8 Fibonacci a plus a let's say how much it will go I have two options to run f8 like this or to press f5 now and it goes up to the end of this one here and it returned me 144 uh, what is another thing about F8 that you should know you can see you can use run to cursor it is control plus F8 what does it mean let's say I want to see to use a debugging which is here so I simply press control and F8 and let's see what would happen. Okay, Control and F8, it run up to here, 
and it is like waiting me. But the thing is that I should be in the test me. So it can only happen in this option here. Run into cursor so I can go again control and F8. And it didn't even enter the function. I mean it entered the function but it didn't went me through it and now I am here on the last line. Once again one F8 and it would put me in the 144. So let's say that I want to run into to, to the cursor which is somewhere here and I cannot do it with control F8 because I should be in the in the sub or the function that I am in in order to use control and F8. So what can I do? I can put a stop sign. I can put the stop sign somewhere here like this way. So this way call going here and running F5 I can see immediately that the F2 value is 1 but once I press F8 the F2 value for the second Fibonacci is changed into 2. And now I can press F8 F5 once again and I'm still in the loop now the FA2 value is still 2 because we are on the current line, but now it is 3. Now it is 5 and now it is 8. 1, 2, 3. I'm pressing F5 just to see how the numbers are changing. So they are changing pretty fast up to 144. Uh, this is how the stop work. We can work with multiple stops like this For example, and then with F5 It really becomes quite an easy thing uh, Another thing if we want to remove the stops Instead of going manual manually here. We can press ctrl shift and F9 And it will remove all the stops and if you want to put a stop on the line on which the cursor is, the button for this is F9. I am currently recording so I cannot show you because F9 is a shortcut for a recording software. You have to believe me here. Pretty much or you can try it yourself and you'll see that pressing F9 here would put a stop here. And once again if you want to remove them, Control shift F9, all of them are gone. Another way to use this Debugging is if we simply write somewhere the word stop like this, then we run it and the word stop would make sure that our code acts as if there is a stop actually, like this one. See, it goes and with more and more pressing of F5, which I'm currently doing, uh, we get the result in the direct window, immediate window in English. I'm using German so. It's a bit different. Okay, so what else we can do? We can use bookmarks. Where are the bookmarks? The bookmarks are in edit and bookmarks pretty much. So set a bookmark. This is a way to set a bookmark or another way is to go here and then uh, bookmark. And then here again bookmark. What are the bookmarks useful for? Well, pretty much we can go, go here and go to the next bookmark, then to the next bookmark, and then to the next bookmark, or the previous one. This could be stuff that could be used if you have like a bigger code, so they are just for reminders. It's normal bookmarks. As you see, we can use also stops over the bookmarks. And the bookmarks can be removed this way. Okay, uh, let's say that we are currently into put a stop here. Go back to our main function. I'll even rename it. So because it's the main, the starting function. We press F5 and we are here. We have our i equals to uh, 0 and then it would be assigned with the value of 2. And then we are actually not interested by this function, we want to escape immediately and to go on this line back. What we can do, we can do two things. We can put, let's say, stop here or we can do something else. We can press Control shift and F8. Okay, it, we went to the stop, but I'm going to remove the stop. And then Control shift and F8 
and this is it we are on the next line escaping the function or the sub and then we press f5 and great it works so let's take another scenario in which we just want to check how much is the b without entering but we still want to debug what can we do we can do the following starting with f8 and pressing the shift button so like this f8 f8 and you see we see how much the b is and we just jumped over the function receiving it completely its answer and shift and f8 really works like magic uh, quite quick shift f8 is what i'm pressing now okay so let's talk about debug print and debug assert debug print you see what it does actually it prints to the immediate window what about debug assert let's say that we want to see how the fibonacci works if the i is let's say 11 so let's say we write simply debug assert i less than 11 it means the following it would check every time whether the i is less than 11 and if this is true it would continue what happens if i is equal or greater than 11 it would stop like this and it would wait for explicit instructions every time let's say i is equal than a is uh, less than 8 it means that if i is less than 8 the code would execute if i is not less than 8 the code would stop on this line and would wait for explicit instructions i mean it would break the program so f5 i is currently 8 i is currently 9 stopping i'm pressing f5 and i'm continuing but yeah it continues so this is really the bug assert this is actually quite useful for debugging okay uh, let's write debug assert once again i less than 5 or than 6 press f5 and see okay let's say that we want to get some information about i what kind of information can we get we can pretty much go to select the i and press ctrl plus e and it would give us the information that it's local i declared as long something else we can press the i and press shift f2 it would bring us to the place where i is declared which is actually pretty beautiful if we work with functions like if we go to fibonacci and we have like a lot of stuff we can press shift f2 and it brings us to the fibonacci it would also work if the fibonacci was written in another module i can show now pretty much mm, like this so if we select the fibonacci here and we press shift f2 it bring us to the other module where fibonacci is declared so let's go back and continue with uh, the watch window so if we have it if we have stopped here and we have pressed like here we can select this and press shift and f9 this is the watch window what is the watch window actually useful for the watch window is useful in order to see to get some information about uh, the variable it's i and it has the value of six it's a long type and it is in the module one fibonacci so module one is the module and fibonacci is the function or the sub as you see i have previously asked for a variable a and the information about it is that it's in module one main can delete it like this and what else can i do i can continue like this and see that actually i is changing every time the fun the funny thing is that i can change it for here if i write let's say 90 it would consider now the i equaling to 90 and it would continue and of course it would give me a wrong value of i 
what else I can do from here, I can say, okay, i is not 6, I can use also the immediate window saying that i is equal to 55, and you see immediately we have 55 here <coughs> and 55 over here. The last trick that I wanted to show you is using further the watch window. We can select the value and we can go here and use one of these three bonuses. In English it is uh, change watched value, uh, add a watch or delete a watch. I will show what happens when I add a watch value. So here we can say whenever we have a value of i on in the procedure of Fibonacci module 1, please change when the value is changed. So break when the value is changed. The first value here is uh, just show me the value. The second value is change when the value is true. And the third one is change when the value is changed. Okay, select this one. Delete the debug assert. Uh, cancel. Okay, let's uh, press F8 here and delete now. And now press F5 and expect that it would stop because the value is changed from F55 to something else. You see, it is stopping after the, this value here. Completely. Uh, this is what we can do. Uh, we can edit it. Bear byte is edit. And we can say, okay, we only want this thing here to see it, not to uh, do something with with it. You see, this is for the true, and this one is for the change. Okay, it's an empty one, so it won't work. So this is how we close it. So pretty much this is uh, okay. Just deleting them. This is everything that I wanted to show you <clears throat> in uh, working with VBA and debugging VBA. Pretty much the three things that I'm using more or less on a daily basis is really Shift F9 and going to here to see what's going on. Uh, Shift F2 if I forget where I was. Another thing that I didn't mention is Control shift f2 Pretty much it would bring me to the previous cursor, which is actually really useful if you have like a project with plenty of modules. I'll show quickly. Let's say I was here. And then I go Control shift f2 and I go here back on the previous cursor line on which I was. So if I get lost somewhere, I can go quite quickly. And yeah, these three things I'm using really on a daily basis. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments. Whenever I have time, I'll probably answer them. Have a great day and enjoy.